Welcome back everybody to Synalytics Crypto. My name is Mike. Good morning to you. Well, it's morning for me here in Tulum, Mexico. My last day and I get to go home tomorrow. I'm excited to be home and get back to some business here. But I wanted to make a little video and forgive me guys, I virtually pretty much just woke up. Uh, it was a pretty rough night of sleep last night. There was a lightning storm, a lot of rain, and uh, we lost power to the whole building, pretty much the whole block. So. Uh, I didn't get it very much sleep last night. It was very hot and there was a lot of traffic outside and uh, it was just no fun at all. So I'm a little tired, but I need to discuss with you the carryover from yesterday's video. And I know that in yesterday's video, I said I was going to make a video about two altcoins that I aped into, but uh, I'm going to say that information because I was studying last night and I couldn't really finish the job because I lost internet. So we might have to wait till I get home for that. But anyways, um, <clears throat> The gist of that video was, look, um, yes, there was a massive, massive downturn. Like I said, this is the most volatility I have ever seen in my five years in crypto. And um, I'm a little iffy about what to do about it because we had a massive, strong recovery. Just as volatile as it was down, it was volatile right back on the way back up. And I think we got back to as high as 42, maybe 43K Bitcoin after going all the way down to just under 30K. Um, which is pretty volatile because this is within a 24-hour period and most of this action was within a few hours of that 24-hour period. But I was saying, look, if you're going to buy the dips, be careful. Don't just go all in because you're starting to see green again. And don't just go all in because you saw a sea of red because um, you really want a dollar cost average on your way in during these kinds of times, just like you want a dollar cost average on the way out when you're in profit. So, and here we go again. We've dropped a little bit lower. Um, I know we've kind of been all over the place, but market cap is 1.663 trillion. So we have lost quite a bit of our total overall market value on the market cap. Bitcoin is now back to 37,445. Ethereum's still looking pretty healthy at 25. Um, you know, listen guys, a lot of people are freaking out. And I know this news is based mostly around the China FUD. Um, you know, it is FUD because people are freaking out saying they're banning Bitcoin, which is not true. If you look at the news and if you follow the right YouTubers, you will find out that um, there's a lot more going on than what the news articles would say on the surface. So China has not banned Bitcoin. We know that. I just watched a little video um, from TMI uh, about that very subject. He's usually got a lot longer videos, but this is about a four and a half minute video. And um, look, he's got some good things to say, so go check out that video if you want yourself. And um, in the meantime, you're looking at the same screen I am. So, uh, you know, are we really doing that bad? You know, are we really, if you look at these prices, if you're looking at, like, say, Cardano at $1.60, I mean, most of us, I was making videos when Cardano was on its way up to a dollar and what a big deal it was when it broke a dollar. So the thing is, is we have a lot of new people in the market and they don't quite know how to handle these things. And that's not their fault. I don't blame them. Um, you know, it takes a, a long time to have uh, guts of steel, so we should say in this market because when these things kind of happen, people freak out and they think the sky is falling and everything's, it's game over, right? And they start selling at a loss. Look, you're playing into the manipulation. It's like I said in yesterday's video, we do own the retail, a big slice of that pie. And so um, if you're getting weak hands and you're getting a weak stomach, like I've said before, if you're playing with money that you can't afford to lose, this is what happens. And then you would rather take some losses than, you know, uh, have everything go to zero. I'm just here to reassure you, nothing's going to zero. Um, you know, it's hard to, everybody's investment strategy is very different. Um, but what I really wanted to focus on for this quick video here is if you bought that dip and then you see another dip, um, hopefully your dollar cost averaging these dips, you guys, because like I said, you're, you're creating a window. You're creating a window of opportunity for yourself to make those gains when we do bounce back. And when you see us bounce back super hard like we did yesterday, that's kind of a warning sign more than it would be like, oh, yay, everything's fine. We're, we're going right back to the moon again. Um, I knew that that wasn't the case. And um, it's exactly why I haven't really gone back into some of the solid projects that I'm really salivating over right now. And, uh, you know, looks like we've got a little bit of mix of green and red, mostly on the one hour time frame as opposed to the 24 hour time frame. And I'm only focusing on the top half because um, I do think that, um, you know, when these things start to happen, people, the, the more solid projects are the ones with the large market caps. Um, 
I know that these some of the small caps are getting completely hammered right now, and that's the risk you take by being in small caps. Um, I'm spread out across the board. I've got everything from Bitcoin all the way down to some of your smaller caps, and um, you know I'm not worried about it. Basic, the bottom line here is I'm not worried about it. We are still in a bull run. We will recover. Um, just be careful with the recoveries. If you start to see everything shoot back up by 35, 40, some, in some cases over 50%. Be careful because um, what goes up must go down and what goes down must go up. So it's a weird range right now. The volatility is absolutely super hard to take um, to take note of. What's happening in China needs to play out. People need to start realizing what, what the real news actually is. And I know that I've seen some news articles where you know the U.S. government is also inquiring to, to maintain more power over looking into um, people's crypto holdings because they want to tax people. And um, it's, it's, they're forming the baseline of, of regulation. And I don't think that mass adoption is really, really, really going to happen until there is more regulation. So even though it's kind of pain in the meantime, it's like going to the dentist, right? You know, you got that toothache and you just don't want to deal with it. You just don't want to deal with it. And then finally you go, you get that tooth fixed and you're happy again. And it costs you a little money, but now you've got a healthy mouth again, right? Well, sometimes you got to have a little bit of pain before you can really start to realize that um, the gains that are coming that are going to be life-changing opportunities for people, they're still coming. But we need this right now. I know it's painful to talk about. I know it's scary when you see the China FUD and, and all this other stuff kind of stacked on top of each other, starting with the whole Elon Musk thing. But this is good overall. Things are still healthy. Um, sky's not falling. Hold on to your positions depending on when you got into them. And, and really, if you're looking to get back in, just be careful. Take a little bit at a time, maybe 10%, maybe 20%, maybe even less, and uh, start to see where we're going. We're looking for a trend reversal before we really get back into the projects that we believe in to you know, make those long-term gains. Um, right now, there is no trend reversal. It's 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 all over the place, and it's pretty crazy. So, look, if you haven't joined this um, channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, leave some comments, guys, so we can talk about these kinds of things amongst each other. And also, um, for some of the new people I've met, join the Telegram, you guys, because there's a lot of smart people in my Telegram, and I'm, I'm a lot more active on a daily basis. It's easier for me to get into Telegram and sometimes drop um, little hints or little opinions that I have. Um, not that my opinion is the most important in the world, but I've certainly seen this happen time and time again. Five years in the market will basically keep you calm. I mean, I'm not freaking out one bit, not whatsoever. I'm very comfortable with um, everything that's going on. And uh, this is an opportunity. The bottom line at the end of the day, this is still an opportunity. It's just what do you do with that opportunity is what's more important than you know, trying to make you know, life-changing money overnight because you see how quickly things can go down and your portfolio can get wrecked overnight. You gotta hold strong, you gotta be ready to make a move and you kinda have, you have to have guts of steel. So anyways, guys, sorry for the scenery. It's not my normal place, but I'm still kind of on the couch waking up today and uh, thought I'd just give some love to my subscribers and hopefully pick up a couple new ones because uh, people need to be level-headed at this time and I'm probably one of the most level-headed people you're gonna find because I just don't get shook and if you don't get shook, you don't make bad mistakes. So, hey, I love y'all, peace.